15 most scandalous outfits in the British royal family history. The British royal family is known for its elegance, grace, and sense of style. But sometimes, even the most refined royals can make fashion blunders. You won't believe what some of these royals wore to shock the world and break the rules. From daring dresses to controversial costumes, here are 15 of the most scandalous outfits in British royal family history. So get ready for some royal drama. Let's get started. Number 1. Princess Diana's Revenge Dress Starting our list with the most iconic and scandalous royal dress, Princess Diana's revenge dress was a stunning black silk gown that she wore to a party in 1994, the same night that her husband King Charles confessed his affair with Camilla on TV. The black silk dress was designed by Christina Stambolian three years earlier, but she had never worn it before because she thought it was too daring. The dress's low-cut neckline, fitted skirt, and above-the-knee length made it a standout piece that broke the royal fashion norms into pieces. The off-the-shoulder, form-fitting style showed off Princess Diana's body and curves. The dress gained significance as it coincided with an infamous royal moment of her estranged husband admitting infidelity in a TV documentary. The dress earned the nickname The Revenge Dress from the media and the public. This revenge dress was seen as a way to show her confidence and independence despite the humiliation and pain caused by Charles's betrayal. Since then, the dress has gained iconic status and continues to be trendy in popular culture. Number 2. Princess Catherine's Breezy Skirt Princess Catherine, the ever-graceful Princess of Wales, encountered an unexpected fashion mishap during a breezy visit to Calgary, Canada in 2011. It was a sunny day, and she had chosen to wear a delightful yellow Jenny Packman sundress that perfectly epitomized her style. The knee-length yellow dress was made of crepe silk and featured puffed short sleeves, a self-covered button front closure, and a gathered waist with a fully pleated skirt. The dress was a customized version with a beautiful primrose yellow color. However, the gentle Alberta winds at the airport had other plans for her outfit, and the skirt of her sun-kissed dress seemed to have a mind of its own. As she stepped off the plane, the air kept blowing up her skirt, creating an unintentional moment of vulnerability. She quickly grabbed the hem and smiled, but the damage was done. Princess Catherine tried to keep her cool, but it was a pretty awkward situation. The late queen was reportedly not amused by this wardrobe malfunction. She was very strict about how royals should dress and behave. She advised Princess Catherine to sew some weights into her dresses to prevent them from blowing up in the future. Number three, Princess Diana's translucent skirt. Imagine being a young woman who just started dating a prince and suddenly finding out that your legs are all over the newspapers. That's what happened to Princess Diana in 1980, when a photographer snapped a picture of her in a see-through skirt. Lady Diana was working as a nursery assistant at the time, when she posed with two kids she was looking after in the preschool. What she didn't know was that the sun played a trick on her and made the fabric look see-through, revealing the shape of her legs. The photo caused a huge scandal and made her very uncomfortable. She said she never wanted to be known as the girlfriend who had no petticoat. The see-through skirt photo was one of the first and most famous images of Diana, and it taught her a lot about being famous. She learned how to be careful about what she wore and how she acted in public because the media and the people were always watching her. The photo also showed a very personal side of Princess Diana that she probably didn't want to show, especially since she was on the way to becoming a royal princess. Number 4. Princess Diana's Bike Shorts Princess Diana was not only a royal icon, but also a fashion icon who influenced many trends in the 80s and 90s. One of her most controversial looks was the cycling shorts and sweatshirt combo, which she often wore to or from the gym. Princess Diana wore cycling shorts, mostly in neon colors. She paired them with oversized sweatshirts that featured logos of universities, such as Harvard and Virginia, or brands such as Virgin Atlantic and USA. She completed the look with white crew socks, chunky sneakers, and sometimes sunglasses or a baseball cap. 
This casual and comfortable outfit showcased her athletic figure and her playful personality that defied the expectations of how a princess should dress. Bike shorts are a comfy and cool choice for many fashion lovers, but they were not always appreciated when Princess Diana rocked them. Even after she separated from King Charles in 1992, she still had to follow the strict royal protocol that dictated how she should dress and behave. Bike shorts were too sporty and showed too much leg for the royal's taste. But Princess Diana had other plans. She started to wear bike shorts and sweaters that showed off her relaxed style. These outfits were a shock to the public, who were used to seeing the royals in formal and conservative clothes. Her casual looks were a clear sign of her rebellion. Number 5. Queen Elizabeth's Expensive Wedding Dress the late Queen Elizabeth's wedding dress in 1947 was a lavish affair that contrasted with the situation of post-war Britain. The dress was created by Sir Norman Hartnell, who was inspired by a painting called Primavera by Botticelli. The dress was made of white satin and had a 15-foot train that was decorated with crystals and pearls. The dress also had a symbolic meaning of rebirth and growth after World War II. This is where the controversy comes in. The queen had to use clothing ration coupons to pay for her dress because there were strict rules about how much fabric and materials people could use after the war. The government gave her 200 extra coupons to buy the expensive material for her gown. She also received hundreds of coupons from people who wanted to help her. She had to send them back, though, because it was illegal to use them. Her dress indeed was like a dream come true, but some people were not happy. They said she was showing off and not caring about the problems in the world. The royals were not pleased either. They thought she was being disrespectful and irresponsible with her money. Number 6. Princess Diana's Headband Princess Diana was known for breaking the rules when it came to her fashion choices. She often wore outfits that were daring and unconventional. One of her most iconic looks was when she wore a royal heirloom necklace as a headband at a gala dinner in Melbourne, Australia in 1985. The necklace was an Art Deco emerald choker that belonged to Queen Mary, the grandmother of the late Queen Elizabeth II. The queen had given it to Diana as a wedding gift. It was part of the crown jewels. Princess Diana paired it with a green satin evening gown by David and Elizabeth Emanuel, the same designers who made her wedding dress. She dazzled the crowd at the gala she attended but the queen was not happy with her decision to wear the necklace as a headpiece. She thought it was disrespectful and inappropriate to use a precious piece of jewelry in such a casual way. According to royal commentator Deborah Atanasio, the queen was very irritated by Diana's style choice. The truth was that Princess Diana's idea to wear the choker as a headband was a result of a mishap. She was in a hurry to get ready for the event and tried to put the necklace over her head instead of waiting for someone to help her clasp it. It got stuck on her nose, and she couldn't get it off. A Canadian diplomat named Victor Chapman suggested that she wear it as a headband instead, as it matched her young and fun energy. Number 7. Princess Catherine's Dress at the Diamond Jubilee Pageant Princess Catherine's red dress at the Diamond Jubilee pageant was a bold and risky choice that didn't pay off. The event was a grand celebration of Queen Elizabeth II's remarkable 60-year reign, and as such, all eyes were expected to be on the monarch herself. The dress was designed by Alexander McQueen, one of Princess Catherine's favorite brands. The bright red dress featured long sleeves, a pleated skirt, and a ruched waist. The dress was originally from McQueen's 2011 collection, but Princess Catherine had it tailored to fit her perfectly. Her outfit added a scandalous contrast to the gloomy weather and the muted colors of the other royals. The other members were dressed more conservatively to honor Queen Elizabeth II's 60th anniversary on the throne. Some people criticized Princess Catherine for trying to steal the spotlight from the queen with her bold choice of color. Others praised her for adding some brightness and glamour to the event. The dress also matched the red, white, and blue theme of the pageant, which celebrated Britain's maritime heritage and culture. Princess Catherine accessorized her dress with nude heels by L.K. Bennett, a hat by Locke and & Company, and a brooch that belonged to the late Queen Elizabeth II. She looked radiant and happy as she waved to the crowds from the royal barge, along with her husband, Prince William, 
and other members of the royal family. The dress was one of the most talked about fashion moments of the year 2012, and it showed that Princess Catherine was not afraid to make a statement with her style. Number eight, Meghan Markle's pink dress. Meghan Markle's first appearance at Trooping the Color was a bold statement of her style. Unlike her predecessors, Diana and Princess Catherine, who opted for more conservative and formal outfits, Meghan chose a light pink off-shoulder dress by Carolina Herrera that showed off her shoulders and collarbone. The dress was a modern and feminine twist on the traditional royal attire, and it matched her elegant Philip Tracy hat. The British media, who were waiting on an opportunity to nitpick Meghan's choices, had a field day reporting her attire. Meghan's off-shoulder dress may have been a subtle tribute to Princess Diana, who wore a similar style in 1987 during a visit to Berlin. However, it also sparked some criticism from royal watchers and commentators, who deemed it inappropriate and disrespectful for such a formal occasion. Some claimed that Meghan broke the royal dress code, which requires women to cover their shoulders and avoid revealing outfits. Others defended Meghan's choice, saying that she brought a fresh and modern touch to the royal family and that she should be allowed to express her personality through her fashion. Anyways, Meghan was seen joining Prince Harry in a carriage ride along the mall. Waving and smiling at the crowd, she looked radiant and confident as she took part in the annual celebration of the Queen's birthday, which featured a spectacular display of military pomp and ceremony. Meghan also made her debut on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Number nine, Princess Diana's casual outfits. Princess Diana caused quite a stir when she showed up at the Guards Polo Club in jeans, cowboy boots, a sweatshirt, and a blazer. The outfit was a bold statement of her taste and independence as she broke away from the formal dress code of the royal family. She paired a loose-fitting white shirt with khaki pants and brown loafers, creating a tomboyish and relaxed look. It contrasted with her usual style. She accessorized with a brown belt, a gold watch, and a pair of sunglasses. She also wore her hair in a short and tussled style, adding to the carefree vibe of her outfit. The laid-back outfit also sparked criticism from the public, who expected her to dress more appropriately as the wife of the heir to the throne. Some people thought her outfit was too casual and rebellious for a princess. Number 10, Princess Catherine's Black Dress. Princess Catherine's black tweed dress was a stylish choice for her visit to the British Embassy in Paris. The dress was a long-sleeved lace number that embraced her curves and showed off her legs. The dress had a high neckline and a scalloped hem that added some flair to the simple design. The dress became controversial as some people wondered why she wore such a dark color. Usually, the royals save black for sad events and times of grief, like Remembrance Day. Some people might have seen it as a sign of disrespect or sadness. Number 11, Princess Diana's Travolta Dress. Princess Diana was always a beauty icon, but not everyone appreciated her style choices. Like the iconic and daring Travolta dress she rocked at the White House in 1985. It's the dress that Princess Diana wore when she danced with John Travolta. It was a midnight blue black velvet gown that showed off her shoulders and made her look like a movie star. The dress was designed by Victor Edelstein, who was inspired by Edwardian fashion. Princess Diana loved the dress so much that she wore it again in Germany at a movie premiere and for her last official portrait. She even sold it for charity before she died. But not everyone was happy with her dress choice. It had a low-cut neckline, which some people thought was too revealing for a royal at a formal event. Number 12, Queen Elizabeth's strapless dress. One might think that a strapless dress is no big deal, but for Queen Elizabeth II, it was a bold fashion choice back in 1951. She was still a princess then, and she wore this stunning pink gown with a white fur stole to a state banquet in Canada. Most royals would never dare to show so much skin in public, especially not their shoulders. But the queen was not afraid to break the rules and make a statement with her outfit. She looked gorgeous and confident, but also caused quite a stir among the media and the public. Her strapless dress choice instantly became a scandalous affair. Some people praised her for being modern and elegant, 
while others criticized her for not following royal traditions. Number 13, Princess Diana's Met Gala Dress. The only time Princess Diana showed up at the Met Gala, she wore an outfit that made her nervous. She wore a stunning navy blue dress by John Galliano for Dior. It was a silky slip gown that she thought might make her sons feel ashamed of her. She also got a lot of flack for wearing a dress that was too bold and revealing for a former royal, as she had just split from Charles, who used to be the Prince of Wales. Princess Diana's Met Gala dress was a bold and daring choice, as it contrasted with her usual conservative style. The gown featured a deep neckline and a full skirt with layers of tulle and silk. Princess Diana realized that the dress was too informal for the Met Gala. The dress also caused some controversy, as many people thought that it resembled lingerie more than evening wear. Number 14. Princess Diana's Black Sheep Sweater Princess Diana was seen wearing a red sweater with a group of white sheep and a single black one woven on it. She wore it in June 1981, shortly after her engagement to King Charles. Many people wondered if the black sheep represented how Diana felt about herself in the royal family, as she often struggled to fit in and follow their strict rules. Many thought that she was trying to convey a message that she felt like the odd one out in the royal family. Princess Diana never confirmed or denied the meaning behind the sweater, but she did seem to enjoy wearing it and making a statement. She paired it with jeans and red pumps, adding a touch of casualness and flair to her otherwise formal wardrobe. Number 15. Princess Catherine's BAFTA Dress In 2018, Princess Catherine wore a stunning dark green dress by Jenny Pakman to a BAFTA event. However, not everyone was impressed by her choice of outfit. The event was part of a series of award shows where Hollywood stars wore black to show their support for the hashtag MeToo, a movement against sexual harassment and abuse. Princess Catherine faced a dilemma because royals are not supposed to take sides on political issues. She chose a dark green dress with a black ribbon as a subtle way of joining the cause. This brings us to the end of our video. So, which one of these was your favorite outfit? What other outfits would you add to this list? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.